1955 D. Jefferson nickel is an ordinary piece of pocket change for most, with a vast mintage exceeding 74 million. Composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel, its value typically hinges on its condition. Only uncirculated, superb gem nickels catch the eye of collectors. However, there's a remarkable exception that might just transform your seemingly mundane coin into a treasure. The key lies in a tiny but significant error, a repunched mint mark where a D is stamped over an S on the coin's reverse side. This minting mistake, the 1955 D over S, is rare and sought after in any condition, making any such coin a notable discovery. In July 2023, one such coin graded MS67 fetched a handsome sum of $743.62 at a great collections auction, including the buyer's fee. This goes to show that even the smallest details can significantly amplify a coin's value, like turning everyday change into a collector's prize. If you possess an uncirculated, toned 1954 Roosevelt dime, take a moment to inspect the lower and upper horizontal bands on the torch with a magnifying glass. If these bands are sharply defined with visible lines, congratulations, you might be holding a rare full band specimen. This particular feature can significantly increase the value of your dime, potentially netting you hundreds of dollars. The value of these dimes is not only determined by their rarity, but also by their condition. MS-68 graded gems, for example, are extremely scarce and highly sought after by collectors. Despite the dime's high mintage, most coins are found in grades up to MS-66 because it was common for collectors and speculators to save brilliant uncirculated rolls each year. However, coins of finer quality are elusive, largely due to mediocre quality control at the Philadelphia Mint during the 1950s. Post-war budget cuts led to dyes being overused, often resulting in eroded and blurry features. An exemplar of this scarcity and value an MS-68 Superb Gem was sold for $1,560 on April 23, 2024 at a Heritage Auctions event. This demonstrates how a coin's grade and the clarity of its features can dramatically affect its market value. Did you spot the peculiarity in this 2000p Sacagawea dollar? A typical manganese brass coin, the Sacagawea dollar should exhibit a golden hue, but this one surprisingly has a silvery gray appearance. This isn't just any coin, it's an error coin struck on a planchette intended for a Susan B. Anthony dollar. The base of this exceptional coin is a cupro nickel clad planchette composed of an outer core of 75% copper and 25% nickel bonded to an inner layer of pure copper, likely sourced from the Susan B. Anthony dollar production of 1999. This error has resulted in a coin with intense cartwheel luster and near perfect gem surfaces, marking it as a significant off metal wrong planchette rarity. The strike on this coin is sharp and crisp, displaying even the minutest details vividly. Upon closer examination, with low magnification, two light vertical die cracks can be observed on Sakagawea's portrait, both starting at her forehead. This remarkable error coin fetched $16,450 at a Stax Bowers auction, reflecting its unique status and the collector's high regard for such anomalies. At first glance, this quarter might seem ordinary and of a lower mint state, yet it astoundingly fetched $12,000 at a Stax Bowers auction. What sets this 1977D Washington Quarter apart is that it was mistakenly struck on a silver-clad planchette consisting of 40% silver. This type of error is referred to as a transitional error, where the planchette used was originally intended for some of the San Francisco Mint's special bicentennial issues from 1976. Transitional errors like this are exceedingly rare, and this particular quarter is an impressive example. The silver-clad planchette was not meant for the standard copper-nickel-clad quarters of 1977, making this error both unusual and valuable. The first known instance of this rare error was reported by Bernie Steinbach before 1981, and since then, only a few similar pieces have emerged. This makes every discovery of such a coin a significant event in the numismatic community. This 1952 Franklin half dollar is a stunning example showcasing a beautiful tone and having achieved a prestigious Mint State 67 rating complete with full bell lines and CAC approval. Despite a large production run at the Philadelphia Mint that year, which typically would result in many coins being struck from worn dies, 
1952 P half dollars are surprisingly some of the better struck coins of that decade. For Franklin half dollars, full bell lines, FBL, indicates a high level of detail visible on the Liberty Bell depicted on the coin's reverse. This detail includes clear, uninterrupted horizontal lines across the bell, a mark of a sharply struck coin. While finding certified halves with full bell lines is not uncommon, securing one above a MS66 grade like this MS67 FBL superb gem is a rarity. This exceptional coin was sold for $1,020 on April 23, 2024 at a Heritage Auctions event, reflecting both its rarity and the high quality of its strike and finish, which make it highly coveted among collectors. You might question who would pay a significant sum for a heavily circulated and tarnished wartime nickel. However, upon closer inspection, this is no ordinary nickel. This 1944 P. Jefferson nickel was mistakenly struck on a zinc-coated steel scent planchette. It has been graded as EF40 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, indicating its moderately worn condition. The coin presents a fascinating aspect with its uneven strike. The legends and the left rims are not fully struck, pushing the design flush to the right border. The left peripheral devices are mostly off the planchette, yet the central details like the date and the distinct P mint mark in the upper reverse field are sharply struck. Both sides of the coin exhibit a ruddy pewter and olive gray patina, lightest at the high points where wear has influenced the EF40 designation. Such error coins are exceptionally rare, and collectors value the unique circumstances under which they were created. This particular coin, with its story of being struck on an incorrect planchette and its resultant unusual appearance, captivated collectors and ultimately sold for $9,600. This sale underscores the premium that collectors are willing to pay for rare and distinctive numismatic pieces. If you enjoyed this journey through coin collecting history and discoveries, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more fascinating content, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Your insights could be the highlight of our next video. Happy collecting and see you in the next video.